Hello everyone, today we're gonna review Monthly Italian. This is my first time using this app. Actually, I did a couple of lessons before this video, but that's it, nothing else besides that. Let's see what they got. Uh, first of all, I wanna be clear again, uh, this, this review is only based on speaking. So basically, any score, any opinion I give is just based on how well this app helps me improve my speaking. So, let's see what they have to offer. Uh, as soon as you open the website, this is what you encounter. It's some sort of map with all these options, or like, like topic options, I guess. I guess these are the, the lessons you can do by category. And also, I'm using the free version, by the way. Uh, I didn't pay for the premium. Let's see what they have. So basically, I have access to this on these three here. I guess if I maybe if I start, they, I can unlock the other ones. But they have the little premium symbol, so I don't know if I can actually do it. Okay, let's explore. Be before we click this, this is the one that I'm more intrigued. Actually, the the chatbot. Uh, let's see. Let's explore a little this this navigation bar first. So we have the categories, which is this. And then if we go to lessons, so you can do these six lessons from the, uh, I think I guess the introduction, and then you can practice conversation, which I did. Uh, I kind of liked it, but we will see later. And also you have all these other options. I guess are the same as this probably, but they're also premium. You have to get a subscription. Okay, so let's start with, the, with this one. I did one and two. Let's do six. Maybe it's a little more, a little more difficult. So let's see, before that, let's, let's keep exploring a little more. So we have the lessons, we have now also statistics. It's, it's where they give you all the information about your progress, usually. So you have how many days you have done, uh, how many minutes have you spent, okay, how many words you have learned, uh, how many phrases. Okay, good. Then we had the, the, the leaderboard. Like friends you have in the, in the, in the app, uh, people in your country who is using the app, uh, and I guess global leaderboard too. Okay, nice. This reminds me a lot to, to Duolingo actually. So also you have a shop, you can, you can pay for, for the premium one. Okay, let's go. So let's do... Let's do this one here. Let's, let's open this one. Oh. These are the two I did. Let's do something. Let's do this one. So a little more complicated. Let's do six. Maybe it's a little more difficult. All those introductions. Okay, let's do this one. Boom. Start. Ciao. Okay. Well, actually, actually, then let's do this because let's do an actual. Topic. Let's do. I have. Let's do this one. Boom. Okay, so basically select, select a, a cat, okay, but Gatto, Gatto give the, give, it gives you the pronunciation, okay, good, translate, Yo -o. translate the sentence, okay, also, uh, before, when I was trying this app, it gave me like a little tutorial thing that tells me that if I click the words, it gives me some information about the word. Let's see if it happened. Okay, yes. So basically, it gives you the conjugation. You can have it in the past tense, the present tense, and the future tense. And you have the audio. Lui avrà. Lui avrà. Oh, that was fast. Lei avrà. No, that's not good. No. It feels choppy. Let's see. Voi avrete. It's too fast. No, no, no. What about this one? Noi abbiamo. That's better, slowly. What about past tense? Lui ha avuto. Mm, no. Noi abbiamo avuto. Okay, better. Okay, so basically this it's not consistent the speed and the quality of the audio. Let's do here. Gatto. Gatto, select which one? Cane. Cane. Oh. Io ho un cane. Io ho un cane. Io ho un gatto. 
yo o un gato Then, bicicletta bicicletta auto auto ok io ho un'auto io ho un'auto io ho una bicicletta io ho una bicicletta in English I have a cat io ho un cane this totally feels like Duolingo I mean the same I know I mean I know it's not that Duolingo invented this but it feels like the same kind of exercise they do the same let's see uh, io ho un auto io ho un auto I have a car what else io ho una bicicletta io ho una bicicletta I have bicycle I have a car auto. io ho un auto what was this you can say it ho un auto oh okay what happened io ho un auto okay so you can record but I don't know what's the point though gatto cane auto Bicicletta. Too many. No, let's go. Okay. The good information. Some competition here. Okay, good. Let's continue. Advertisement, nice. Okay, that's okay. Now I wanna I wanna show you this one. Conversation. This one was actually interesting. It actually let's see if we can redo it. Ciao! So basically it tells you what to say and then it, it basically puts your words into a dialogue and then you can play the whole dialogue all together it's really it's, it's really nice let's see ciao ciao mm -hmm. and then ciao mm -hmm. uh, ciao ciao okay come ti chiami? Come ti chiami? Come ti chiami? Uh -huh. Mi chiamo Mondli. Mi chiamo Mondli. Ok. So you get... Come stai? So basically it's like this. Uh, at the, right now because I already did this specific conversation, so you can see the whole thing. But at the, the first time you do it, basically it progresses phrase by phrase. So... Uh, when you finish, you can basically choose Come stai? Come stai? This is you, this is the, the other person And then you can play the whole thing Can you? Yes Ciao Ciao Come ti chiami? Mi chiamo Motley Okay, so basically Come stai? Come stai? No? Okay, now Basically you can choose if You want only your voice Or you can choose between like a conversation between you and the and the other person. But, come stai? Sto bene. E tu? Molto bene. Da dove vi? Da dove? So, che bello. Oh, Ciao. Oh, it was fast. What happened there? Okay, so this one is actually interesting. I mean, it's it's better than other apps in the in the, in the sense that they actually, at least they actually try to help you to improve your speaking a little more. It's good. So, and then, so basically that's it. What about vocabulary? Start. Ciao. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is basically just like... Oh, you have to move it. Okay. Buonanotte. Just like flashcards, basically. Okay, got it? Arrivederci. Okay, we can stop this. Uh, the other thing I'm intrigued about is the chatbot. This one, let's see. It gives it gives you like all these options, all these like settings that you can talk about, I guess. Basically, an AI, I guess, that you are speaking to. So let's try to do what about 
let's see shopping here oh i have to pay of course i think last time i did which one this one the, the only one we can do is this one for now buon pomeriggio ciao this? buon pomeriggio so basically the ai starts the conversation and then the app gives you some options that you can you can use as a reply so in this case we can say for example ciao come si chiama mi and chiamo so these are some options and let's see what happens when i actually don't follow the conversation when i try to reply let's say in english my name is lou Mm. Piacere, piacere di conoscerti. Come mm. stai? Piacere di conoscerti. No, 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 no. It should. I prefer that it tells you or stops the whole thing, or at least tells you that you should reply in Italian. Uh, let's see if we keep, keep going. Come sta? Then. Non male, grazie. Molto bene. Molto bene. Okay. Sono felice di questo. Okay, so da dove is... vieni? Vengo dal nord. Vengo da. Okay, this is something that other apps actually they don't really have. Even though it's a little, it feels like still a little in progress. I don't think it's quite there yet. I, I have seen other websites that they they they're doing the same, and they're a little more advanced in this sense. They, their AI are actually much better at engaging with you, trying to prompt you to speak a little more and in more complex situations. This one feels a little, right now, too simple. I know it's the first lesson. Maybe, maybe if you keep going, if you go to the more advanced lessons, maybe it gets a little more difficult or a little more challenging. But for now, the ones I, I just experienced, it still feels like it's not, it's not quite there yet. Also, I don't see a lot of variety on, of exercises. It's basically translation, uh, a lot of vocabulary. So it feels like it's very focused on vocabulary. It's very focused on just learning words. And I guess now they're trying to do the speaking, but still, I, it feels like the main focus is just to learn words. I think we can stop for now. I think we cover most of it, at least the things we have access to. See you in the next one and goodbye.